the mass CD, crossover arrows, and alert indicator is provided for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for the MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 platforms and execute it on the chart. Also, traders can own this page to know how the indicator has been carried and worked. From the navigator section, we select the indicator file and execute the indicator by dragging the file onto the chart. Once the indicator is executed on the chart, it starts displaying buy signals and sell signals. The operation of the indicator is based on the crossover of the MACD signal line and movement above or below the zero line in the settings section. In the input section, there are options available for us. The first part relates to the settings for the fast MACD moving average period, the slow MACD moving average period, the MACD signal period, and the MACD calculation type, which is based on the opening price, highest price, and lowest price. You can adjust these settings from this section. The next part pertains to the signal target, which has three different sections. By selecting the first option, when the MACD moves above or below the level of the queue, it gives you a signal. By selecting the second option, when the MACD signal line straightens, it issues a signal. And by selecting the third section, it sends you all signals. The next part relates to the calculation, which can start from the current candle or from the previous one. The next part concerns the display of the MACD which can be shown as a histogram or in a linear format. The next section shows the number of candles displayed on the chart, which is set to a default of $500, displaying 500 candles on the chart. The next part relates to notifications. By selecting this option, you can enable or disable notifications. Just make sure to activate the notification settings from the tool section under options. The next parts relate to sending notification alerts, including sending alerts on the chart, sending alerts to mobile, and sending alerts to email. The next section concerns the settings for drawing signals, which can either be displayed or deactivated. Here, it is divided into two parts, switch mode and cross mode. The switch part relates to the first section of settings. If you select this part, you can apply these settings. If you select the second part, you can choose settings for it. And if you select the cross section, you can change all these settings. The settings for the type of signal, determine how the signal is sent, and you can adjust the signal codes from this section, including the buy signal code, sell signal code, signal sizes, buy signal color, sell signal color, and the cross section where you can set the buy signal code, sell signal code, and the size of the cross, which can be set up to size 5. The buy signal color and sell signal color are in the last part, which is the dedicated indicator team or template, consisting of four different sections. The first part relates to auto settings. By selecting this option, only the colors of the candles change, with bullish candles turning bright green and bearish candles turning bright red. By selecting the light section, a light template is applied to the chart, which is the template I have on my chart. The next part, dark, selects a dark template, and the last part is custom, which retains your personalized template and runs the indicator on the chart. Here, I will select the dark template, teach the signals, and set the MACD histogram to long mode. And after that, I click on confirm. Well, here my template has turned dark and the MACD histogram has changed it to linear mode. Well, friends, we have reached the end of this indicator tutorial. We would be happy to share your comments and suggestions with us in the comments section.